Hello guys, it's Teddy and welcome back to another FIFA 19 Liverpool career mode episode. It is episode number 5 and in this video we are playing against Paris Saint-Germain and as you, guys can, as you guys can see, now we are. this is our Champions League group Napoli, Liverpool, Paris Saint-Germain and Slavia Praha and in the last video I played against Spurs and I, I played against Leicester City but I, ca I can't show you the highlights because as you guys know my video uh, was del was deleted by UEFA because, because uh, I recorded that video and I ended that game against against Spurs and um, there was the Champions League intro and I didn't know that I that I can't use this in my game in my video so and they probably banned my video because of that because of because of that Champions League licensing because of that intro I should, I should say so now I now I will know that I can't put that Champions League intro into my videos and uh, but I, I didn't know that so sorry for that so but we lost our two games in a but we lost two games in a row in the Premier League we lost 1-0 to Spurs and we lost 1-0 against Leicester, Leicester City, we played at two away games, now in this episode we are playing against Paris Saint-Germain and we are playing away against Arsenal, I will probably gonna sim this game in the Premier League against Southampton and in this game, in this video we are probably gonna play two or one game, I still don't know but I will probably only gonna play against against Paris Saint-Germain, I, I will play, I will sim this game and then we will see how it goes, so so, so it is very sad that I, I, that I don't have a chance to show you that those highlights but we lost two games, and that there's nothing. There's nothing too interesting. It wasn't the best video of mine. So, so this is my starting lineup. That I'm. This is my team that I'm gonna use in this game against Paris Saint Germain. This is a little bit more offensive team. And I just played a new. I just created a new tournament. You know, in my in the, in, on FIFA 19, and I played some games with Liverpool. And I'm playing so good right now. But when I'm playing on career mode, when I need to talk, I just can't do anything for whatever reason. I'm. I can't create chances. So now I'm using this my probably my second and my first team because there are some players from the second team like Klein Gomez and there is player Shakiri is also from the second team. But Vinaldo from now on will play in the starting lineup and we also have Keita, but Keita is a little bit tired, but I think that's, that should be okay. And Salah was not playing in this game. I will probably gonna use him in the second half instead of Shakiri, maybe but may, or maybe instead of Mari, so we'll see how it goes for us. So let's just hop into this game and I will see you guys in this game after just a few seconds. So Jordan Shakiri is getting ready for this game in the Champions League. This is his first start in the Champions League for Liverpool. And as you guys can see, Adrian Adrian Rabiot is also preparing for this game against Liverpool. They're playing away. But I don't think that it's going to be an easy game because we're playing against Paris Saint-Germain. They're the favorites to win the Champions League. But we're playing at, at Anfield and we will have our fans. As and it's it's there's still a sun a sunny day I should say not it's not a day it's evening but there's still a sun so it's, it's, the, the 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 conditions of this game should be perfect for this game and I'm very happy the graphics look great fans are getting ready for this game as well so hopefully we can do something we can do some damage to PSG because now we're in a very bad form right now because we lost I believe three games in the Premier League we only we only won two games and now this is the start in in the Champions League against PSG. It's a very tough team to start with because it would be it would have been a lot better if we played against Napoli or against or against uh, Slavia Praha. Now if we, as you guys can see, they have Mbappe, ne Neymar, Cavani, Draxler, all the best players. Marco Verratti as well in the starting lineup. Adrian Rabiot. I saw Thiago Silva. I, I saw Nacho Monreal is playing at, as a left back. We also have Marquinhos. Marquinhos. We have um, Munier, and we also have Buffon in goal. So a, a, a very very strong team. Now we, but now we are starting this game, I, and I also I changed the camera, the camera, camera, the camera of, of the of the gameplay because that last camera just sucked so much. I just couldn't do anything, and now I'm changing the camera, and I'm I'm playing a lot better right now. And uh, the moment that, that I said I'm playing a lot better, I lost I lost the ball straight away. So yeah, not the best start, and now they can't. Now they will probably will score, but they can't. And they just scored a goal. I, I, I just, I don't know how they managed to score, but Mbappe with, this, with the first shot and with the first goal of the game. And my form is actually terrible. I can't play when I'm recording. I'm winning every single game in the Premier League when I'm playing off the camera. I won, I believe, 12 games, and I only draw one game, draw one game. So I just don't know how how I can't do anything against these teams when I'm recording. And plus, I'm playing without controller, so it is even tougher for me to play this career mode. So right now, so I don't know how I'm how I manage how I'm gonna score these goals against these strong teams, you know. And Shakir with this with the first shot, and he hit the post, and it was a great attack, you know. But we couldn't do anything. We can't. We, so far, we can't do anything in this game, and now it should be a foul. But a great clearance from PSG, and uh, 
I changed the formation and I thought that it will it will help us a little bit, but as you guys can see, I'm I'm losing once again and I don't know how I'm gonna score two goals against PSG. I need to get at least a draw. But in the last episode we also conceded three. We scored three offside goals. So it was a title it was a title of, of the last video that, that got banned. So I, I scored three offside goals and uh, that, that's the biggest reason why we lost all those two games. 1-0 one, one to Leicester and 1-0 to Spurs. I believe I scored two offset goals against Spurs. So, if, and we almost, absolutely with a big, huge mistake, but, and we almost conceded the second one, but luckily we managed to keep that, to keep that possession position. And now we're, we'll, we will, we will probably gonna lose this uh, possession, but luckily Alisson is, is doing a very good job in this game. Navi Keita with a through pass to Wijnaldum, Wijnaldum with the shot and is going to be our first goal in this Champions League game against Paris Saint-Germain and what a great pass from Naby Keita, he passed the ball to, to Jorginho Wijnaldum and he was he, he with a very great shot and Buffon had a chance to save this with this this shot but Wijnaldum, uh, it was a pretty good shot you know and, and Buffon reacted a little bit too late so now it is 1-1 and I'm very happy that we, that we finally scoring goals again so yeah it's it is a very good sign for us and for our team roberto firmino is running to the fast break he turns he he wants he, he try he's trying to find a, a pass he pa shakiri passes back to uh, mana and it was a, uh, probably it was an offside once again so it was a pretty good, great delivery from from our team but we couldn't do anything in this attack even though we had a chance to shoot i probably should have should have uh, should have made that run with firmino but but I don't know. I just realized that that the, I just realized that Thiago Silva is very fast as well, and I couldn't do anything against him. So I just passed the ball back to Naby Keita. He passed the ball to Shakiri, and he was offside. And now I'm passing the ball to Mane. It was a pretty good through pass to Mane, and now he's running to the fast break. But even though it's not a fast break, but Mane just stopped because he doesn't. He he just don't know what to do. He doesn't know what to do. And Robertson with a very great cross to Wijnaldum. Wijnaldum with a great header and it is going to be an, a goal kick a pretty good shot from him Wijnaldum is very active right now he's he's making a lot of, he's, he he has a lot of shots in this game he's very good at the ball he's dribbling he's dribbling is, is also a very good thing, uh, thing about this player so i'm very happy that he's he's probably the best player in this first half again against psg so i'm very happy with his performance and we are playing good football even though we are playing again without salah and now we're probably gonna concede the second one and Alisson with an insane save and uh, Drakler should have scored in that first attack when he hit the crossbar but now but now but that, that second shot and that save from Alisson it was something amazing and this is one this is one one draw we still have one more half to go so I will see you guys in that second half after just a few seconds so we're starting the second half and my goal in this game is to, to, to get a to get a win because now we're struggling struggling a lot and we just need to get that victory against this team and this against this very strong team you know and it would be very good because we would have a pretty good chance of progressing to the next round because and we will have it and we would have a chance to be in that first position in the champions league group stage so it would be perfect it would be perfect start for us and shakir with his strength is pushing away uh Verratti and Shakiri runs he shoots with his left foot and it was a pretty terrible shot I for for a second I thought it was a deflection but then I realized it was a pretty bad shot from Shakiri and yeah it's not looking good for Shakiri right? I will probably will sub in uh, Mo Salah in the in the probably in the sex in the 65th minute or something like this so yeah we'll see how it goes for us and when of course in the 64th minute, we are leading 2-1 against PSG. What a great combination! Even though we lost the ball, I believe Naby Keita got that ball back, and now he and then it was and I believe Firmino got the ball back, and then he passed. Uh, he made a through pass to Naby Keita, but it, it just but the money just picked up picked, picked up the ball and take a look at this. Shakir lost the Shakir with the great pass, and it was a pretty good shot from Mane. We got so lucky, and uh, I I wanted to pass to to Wijnaldum, who's standing over there, but. I just I just don't know how that pass goes went through to Mane and he just scored an, an absolute beauty and now we're leading 2-1 against PSG I'm very happy with the Mane, Mane's performance in this game now we're leading 2-1 against Paris Saint-Germain let's go Liverpool Mane is, with, is running to the fast break once once again he's trying to pass and it was a pretty pretty 
it should have been a foul on the Munir, who is a very strong player, so it, it so there's, it, it, it is probably, no, it's, it is, it's probably, it is not, it's not a foul, so they got lucky, you know, because I think it would, it would have been so good if we got a foul, because it was a pretty good position for the shot, you know, but now we, they are with the ball once again, and, uh, and oh, I also changed it the tactics so it is probably the biggest reason why we are winning and why we're playing a lot better because I changed the tactics a lot massively I know I changed pretty much everything I changed the formation to offensive one and now I have we have four three steps substitutes to Mosala comes in with uh, Diavara and uh, Henderson so we made two defensive sub substitutions and I also gave a chance to Mosala we still without goal in this career mode so hopefully he will score at least one goal and uh, I, I gave a chance to Shakiri and I'm I, and I'm very happy with Shakiri's performance in this game because he created that chance, that second goal, that second goal, and uh, he got he got an assist. He made a lot of good runs and a lot of great passes, and he's a very strong player. So I will use him in the future even more. And I'm very and he's very useful, and I'm very happy with this transfer. And that I'm very happy that Liverpool made this transfer in real life and. In, so, and now we have a chance to use him in this career mode, and we only have 10 minutes to go. So hopefully I will. I will ha I will be able to keep this to keep this clean sheet not this clean sheet this result because this victory is a, is a must one and we just must win this game against PSG because we need this victory so much because our morale is is just dropped so much right now and our fo playing form is terrible act right now so we, we are running to the fast break Mosala is on on the on the right side I'm passing to Roberto Firmino or Roberto is trying to find Vinaldo and Vinaldo with the shot and that's it we scored the third one we are leading three one. And Wijnaldum with the with two with two goals in this game, he scored the first one, then he scored the third one, and that's it. We will win this game for sure. 86 minute, three one against Paris Saint Germain. A very great pass. Wijnaldum, he he made that run. He passed the ball to Firmino. He created this chance, and then he passed. He got that pass. He he, he and then Firmino passed the ball back to Wijnaldum, and what a great pass to the to the bottom to the bottom left corner or the top left corner, something in the middle. So now we are leading 3-1 and our fans and our players are very happy. And this victory is very important to us. Even though Paris Saint-Germain scored the first goal and Mbappe uh, made a great run and he scored in the 12th minute, I believe. Uh, it And uh, we, it was a very huge shock for us. And now I'm passing to Wijnaldum once again. He's with another great chance to score, to score the hat-trick and... And it is going to be 4-1, and I don't know who scored this goal, I believe it was an own goal, but if, if Wijnaldum scored this one, it, it, it is going to be a hat-trick for Wijnaldum. So it just doesn't make sense. How Wijnaldum managed to score? No, it should be an own goal. It should be an own goal, because as you guys can see, uh, Wijnaldum man wanted to shoot, but then the ball came off came off Marquinhos or Munir or something like this. It can't be an own goal. It should be an own goal. Yes. Jaka plays for Paris Saint-Germain, it bet, oh my god, how Jaka just left Arsenal for Paris Saint-Germain, it doesn't make sense, it, it just, it is so weird seeing Jaka playing, playing for Paris Saint-Germain, and we are destroying Paris Saint-Germain in this game, 4-1, and I want to score one more in this game, Sadio Mane is running to the fast break, and yeah, the ref blow, just blow the whistle, blew the whistle, and now we, and now we won this game 4-1, that last attack, that last goal against Paris Saint-Germain was terrible, and Bappi is very unhappy, even though they scored, they it, it, it just felt like they're gonna win this game against us because our morale just was just uh, was terrible and was low. And now we're winning this game. Jorginho Wijnaldum with the, with probably the hat trick. It would have been a so it would be perfect, but he still got two goals and it was a pretty good performance. Mo Salah without any goals. I don't know how I can I I just can't score with him. And th so that's it for for this game. And I will see you guys in the main menu after just a few seconds. I st I'm still can't, be can't believe that we won this game against the PSG 4-1 at home. It just does. I just don't know how we managed to do that. Nathaniel Klein thanks us for the play that he played in this game against PSG. He played the whole game, and I'm 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 happy with his performance. He stopped Neymar in probably in every single in, in every single attack. He Neymar didn't do anything in this game. Mbappe did a great job in the first half, but then I we, we stopped everyone and we just we were destroying them in, the, in that in that in that first in that second half and I will I will probably gonna use I will probably gonna give a chance to uh, Alexander Arnold and I will also gonna give a chance to Sabalios and I will give a chance to yeah Sabalios will play the starting lineup and our front three is ready for this game against Southampton I'm expecting a win because I'm gonna sim this game because we're playing away I don't wanna play against Southampton they're not the biggest team in this in this league so I'm hoping I, I will not accept the draw 
and we won 3 1 minus Shakiri and Salah scored. Yes, so Salah scored his first goal of the season, I believe. We, we will train our players and then we're gonna take a look at, at Salah statistics because he's just terrible in the season so far. He was terrible, I should say, but now he's improving. And Konate has just reached 74 overall, a pretty good rating for him. Hopefully, he will inc hopefully he will improve at, as a lot in this season because I want to use him in the future as well. And now we're getting those national of national team offers, but I'm not I'm not gonna accept those offers. So, but if you guys want me to train them, the national team or manage the national national team, just let me know in the comments down below because I can accept. Uh, if we will have a huge deal, for example, if Germany will will uh, will uh, tell us will say us that you, if you, that they want us to be their manager, uh, so I will probably will accept that. So we also have Grujic who is on loan uh, in, in Berlin. He, he plays for Berlin Hertha BSC, and we also have Jaria who is a pretty good player. We also have Kane and we also have Alan who is a pretty good player. We have some good players, but where is Mo Salah? Mo Salah is over there. That's nice. He just grew to the 89 overall, so that's that is just insane. And he's and he's he's so good, but he just can't do anything. So Salah played 30 games, and he has uh, four goals and uh, four goals and only one goal in the Premier League, in the Premier League. So he only scored his first goal in the Premier League. He, he that that means and he scored three goals in in, in that preseason tournament. So it it just doesn't count. So I can say that. Salah only has one goal and he has two assists, but overall he's pretty good. Take a look at his statistics. His average rating is 7.5, four goals, three assists in 30 games. It's not the best statistics, but it also is not the best. It's not the worst. In the preseason, he looked like he's the best player because he scored three goals in five games, and now in six games in the Premier League, he only has one goal and he only has two assists. And we we have Roberto. He was pretty doing a pretty good job, and he probably had the, the highest overall in looking out rating. So. He has scored four goals. He has two assists. With only 12 games, and he has 7.6 in overall rating. So he scored four goals. The same with Salah. Salah has three assists. But I think that Firmino is better in this in this career so far. Mane only scored four goals, and he he only scored one goal in the Premier League. So it's not looking good for him. But he scored the the, the goal in the Champions League. So that's very important. And he only has four goals. So Shakiri scored three goals. That's very nice to see. He's our fourth goal scorer, and we also have Fabinho who scored two goals, Vinaldo with two goals in this game in the Champions League, and he also got, I believe, one assist. So he he just played a fantastic game in the Champions League. So we have the Vok Origi scoring a goal, Henderson with one goal, two assists, and who's the top assist guy with the best passer, I should say. So Salah, Keita is these two guys are the are the best one. We also have Firmino, we have Henderson with, with two, Roberto with two, we have one for Shakiri and Vinaldo and Mane still has no nothing. And Suarez is just a terrible signing. I will probably gonna sell him because it's just a waste of money. His rating is 6.9, zero goals, zero assists, five games, nothing. He just did did did, did nothing, and it just it, it was uh, the worst signing of this of this season. And uh, uh, Mane got seven clean sheets, uh, and that means that every single time when Mane played, we 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 almost got a clean sheet. So he he is a very good. Uh, he's probably a mascot of this team, you know, and. I also want to take a look at the values of these players. It is very interesting to see with the and so yes, yeah, so, so let's take a look. So Suarez, his value is 80 million. It just, it just, it's, it's just not, not, not worth it. Salah is 71 million. So far, these two players are not the best, but Roberto and Mane, are, these guys are perfect in this team so far. And Suarez get, is getting so much money. I will sell this guy for sure because it, it was a, just a waste of money. Plus he's. He's old. He will just his rating will decline. He will decline very fast. His uh, rating will decrease a lot in in the near future. So I will sell him. Salah is getting a lot. He's getting a lot of money, but I think that he that he's that's that is that is just not that much uh, for this type of player. Salah and Mane are getting the same amount of money. So I think this team plays good. We won this game against PSG. We won this game against. Southampton away. Now we're playing in the cup. I will probably gonna mix. I'm gonna probably gonna use my second team, the mix of my second on my and my first team, because after a few days we're playing against Chelsea away in the Premier League. So I want to win that game for. Sh uh, and Fabinho will not play. I will give a chance. Uh, Henderson will play as a CDM, and I also want to give a chance. Uh, I don't know. Do we have Lana? No, we probably sell sold him. So I will use this guy here. Hirella, because he looks a pretty, he looks like a pretty good talent. And how 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 old he is he? He's 21 years old. That's not that bad. We have Robertson. We also have Klein. 
Gomez will play and Konate will play, so I will, I will swap these two because Gomez is a little bit high, a little taller. He is six foot two, so Konate is six foot four. So I think Klein is five foot nine. This guy is only five foot ten. So that means that uh, we can use Gomez. We will use uh, Konate and Gomez will play as a right as a right center back. So and Minola will play in goal. So this is my team that I'm gonna use in this in this game. I will also probably gonna change the formation to that one that we are using in uh, right now in the real life, not in real life in our in, the, in our first team. So and even though Amadou Diawar is not the most is not the most attacking player, but I still do think that he will do a pretty good. Uh, he will probably have, gonna have a pretty good match against Arsenal. We are playing away at Emirates Stadium, in Emirates Stadium I should say, and expectations high for Serbi debut, he just probably, he left the, uh, Benfica for Arsenal, it's a pretty good move for this player, and the Premier League, it's, it should be probably the player of the month, no it's not, so Spurs won against Brighton, so so that's probably guys it, I, 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 I know that it, it is only one game in this episode, but in the next episode we're gonna play against Arsenal and Chelsea, and we're probably gonna... Uh, so that, this, this is my plan, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did just hit the like button on this video, subscribe to my channel, and also don't forget to hit that ring down below, because you will never miss FIFA 19 career mode or my player career mode videos, so, and thank you guys for watching, and peace.